Greetings to all you lovely people. On the very onset, I would like to put forth a few questions. Who are our first parents? Who is the strongest man in the Bible? And lastly, who is known as the father of faith? Abraham believed in God when he was promised descendants as many as the stars in the sky and the sand in the shore. We know he was so obedient that he was willing to sacrifice his only son. Abraham lived a holy life filled with faith. Worthy is the testimony of Don Rua, the first successor of Don Bosco. He says that Don Bosco learned the principal truths of faith from a very young age from his outstanding mother, Mama Margaret. His faith is revealed most of all in his work for the salvation of souls. No matter who came before him, his mind turned immediately to think about that person's soul and how he can help him for eternity. A deeper glance at his life will see that his faith was so deep that he could multiply chestnuts in front of his boys. He could build a huge basilica without much money in his pocket. He could go out with his boys to serve during the cholera epidemic without contracting this deadly infection. His only shield was the medal of Our Lady. He could even pay the baker the exact money that too from a donation from a random benefactor. Faith, which is the basis of all holiness, was without doubt the lamp for his steps. Don Bosco had immense faith in God and that is why he is called the man of faith. So my dear friends, have faith in the Lord and he will never abandon you.